Enter the building and find the stairs that will lead you to the fire area. For fires below the 8th floor, ascend the stairs to the floor below the fire. Above 8 floors, ride the elevator and fire department control to 2 floors below the fire. When you're carrying the hose, it's easier to carry the hose on your SCBA tank and leave your hands free to assist in climbing up the stairs and also carrying tools. When you get to the point of service, lay the hose in the hallway on the floor. One firefighter removes the cap, flushes the valve, and makes all connections. Ensure you have your tool bag with all your tools. You should attach the pressure gauge and elbow. The pressure gauge is the most important part of your kit. It allows you to know the pressure at the standpipe discharge wherever you're operating, whether it's the third floor, eighth floor, or twenty-third floor. It's the only way you know the pressure you're going to get out of that outlet. Then you'll attach the hose. This is all going on simultaneously while other firefighters in the hallway are laying out and connecting the rest of the hoses. You should have four total. For the stairwell stretch, the lead firefighter takes the first fifty feet that's still in a bundle up to the fire floor. This is coming from the floor below to the fire floor. Grab the middle of that fold as it's in the horseshoe load. Walk up the stairs to the half landing. The hose will flake out on its own as it's getting flaked up those stairs. You don't want to round the newel post on that landing or you'll create a pinch point which you'll have to go up and fix, which could be supercharged with heat and smoke if there's a major fire. Everyone else flakes out the rest of the hose so you have it nice and flaked out. Call for water. Make sure you have good water. Bleed the line well before opening that door. Keep control of the door to the floor. You're doing this because there are fire conditions around the other side of the door. Control the door as you knock down fire and then progress through. Apartment stretch you takes two firefighters. The lead firefighter takes the lead section, and more than likely the officer takes the second section. You ascend the stairs in unison to the floor where the fire is. Maintain your bundles the entire time. Whoever the firefighter was hooking up gauges and elbows and connecting to the valve can help flake hose up the stairs. Make sure you chalk the door so the hose doesn't close on your door when you're ready for water. You're going to proceed into the fire floor. At that time, firefighter number two, which would be the officer in this situation with the th three men working inside, drop your section and it will flake out as the nozzle firefighter walks away. Once you get to the apartment door, you're going to lay down the lead section. You're going to grab in the middle just like you did for the fire floor stretch. You're going to flake the hose out so you get a nice smooth arc. You're going to call for water. You're going to bleed the line. And you're going to make sure you control that door to that apartment until you're ready to fight fire. Because once that hallway becomes untenable and you don't have water, you could be in dire need. It's also important to remember to pick the right stairwell. You can see in this hallway it's very long.